What you guys got another video here for you on fake tech support scams and how to watch out for them. I stumbled on a couple of these uh, the other day, uh, trying to look for some uh, new ones to see if they've uh, updated their uh, scams. And they have, they've got a bunch of them out there. These ones are related to uh, Windows Defender. And also what they're trying to do is they add an animated voice to it, which basically tries to warn you that you are infected and that you need to contact them straight away. Now most people know that these are a scam, but there's a bunch of people that don't know they're scams and they will fall for it. And you can see here, this one is a Windows Defender Alert and uh, it will pop up on your computer when you're surfing the web. Now these are buried inside ad campaigns, shady ad campaigns where people uh, will bury these in there and you'll get random, random ads when you may read in some sort of site uh, where you're reading an article about something that's uh, quite an interesting topic uh, for you because you see the topic there and you click on it and eventually you'll get ads that are popping up in the background and of course this is when you'll get these types of um, things here now people pay uh, to get these ads put in there you can see it's got a little pop-up box that says uh, the server IP address and also asking for your name and password and uh, you can close this off and it will just keep repopulating itself like so and of course these are scams what they're trying to do is get you to contact that toll free number which is plastered all over the scam as you can see here and when you try to close these off they will repopulate now you'd think that we will be able to stop this type of nonsense in today's world in 2019 but they're still uh, freely available and they sell these to other people other scammers and of course they just uh, blanket the whole internet with these people fall onto them and of course they fall fail to it and uh, you could just close these off all you need to do is open up your task manager and go down to Microsoft uh, Edge or whatever browser you're using right click on it and then task and it will be gone it's as simple as that so I'll open up the edge here and you'll see a bunch of uh, sites here and you just have to right click and close. Now, if you try to close just one of them, what's going to do is it will just open and repopulate itself. But you need to close the whole of uh, edge here to make it work properly. So just end task and it should disappear like so. Now, there will be an animated voice on these, but I've taken the voice bit out. It's quite annoying, but this is all to add to the drama and add to the uh, scam itself another one is the high pitch beeping noise which is this one here which will be a real high pitch beeping noise which will frighten the hell out of you and uh, basically uh, this is to scare you into doing something your Windows system is damaged and we're talking about a damaged operating system here and click on the update so they want you to click on the update and of course it will take you to your attention you'll get this pop-up that says that uh, attention system defender has defined that you didn't install the update for the antivirus download and install it as soon as possible to avoid more damage and this is what they do it's basically got a countdown time in there and they're trying to get you into downloading and installing uh, this update and it's really a virus so don't be downloading and clicking on uh, executable files. You're going to get infected. And you can see here we've still got the nagging box popping up. And this is one of their little favorite ones where they use some sort of fake scan going on that tells you you've got infections on your computer, which all adds to the uh, drama. And eventually what happens is you'll start thinking that you are infected and you need to proceed and contact them. You can see here if you click on proceed here, uh, it will take you to another page and again you'll get updated antivirus update and it shows you install update and it gives you a bunch of other crap on here which is uh, just to try and convince you that you are uh, fully infected and you can see here antivirus update is prepared and of course if you look down the bottom left you'll see web tools uh, website there. It's nothing to do with uh, Microsoft whatsoever it's just a scam and uh, it's a way of getting you infected and of course this sort of stuff is uh, just all over the internet and they try different scams every single time. They'll uh, switch it up a little bit and uh, some people do fall for this. And the reason why they fall for it is because they're new to computers. They don't understand uh, how the internet works. And of course, they don't know um, 
how to stay safe on the internet. They click on files, they end up getting infected, or they get scammed because they call the number. And of course, these uh, expert con artists will start to uh, convince them. They're, conf they're confidence tricksters. You know, they will start to work their magic on that person and try to get them to part with their cash. And this is exactly what they're designed to do. Now, in the early days, uh, it was basically conning people uh, person to person. You know, but now we're on the internet and uh, this is the way it is. It's cybercrime and it's a new way of uh, conning people. Conning people has been around for generations. It's not going to go away anytime soon. And you can see none of the buttons work here. It's all just fake. You can just right click on here, go to the task manager and end task and it all goes away. But people don't know how to do this because it's such a simple thing to do. But when you're not so familiar with a computer, it's very easy to fall foul for this particular type of thing. But anyway, these con artists will continue to try and make money from you. And uh, you've got another one here, which is a flash player, as you can see, another outdated flash player. They'll try anything. And of course, if you're gullible and if you're easy, easily misled or easily tricked, then this is what they'll do. They'll play on uh, your fear, which is all oh, you're infected, all oh, you're this, and you start panicking. They'll say all oh, your bank details have been breached and all this sort of stuff. And before you know it, uh, you know, you're, you're going to fall foul to being conned. And uh, basically, you're going to end up giving them a large sum of money uh, for, to do nothing. And this is the sad world we live in today. But what saddens me even more is when we uh, tar every Indian with the same brush and make it sound like that all Indians are like this. And it's simply not true. India is a massive country. And there's good and bad in everyone, no matter where you're from in the world. So just bear that in mind. I see a lot of YouTubers that create content about scammings and uh, stuff like that. But some of them are done properly and they're there to help people. But some of them are there just to generate money on YouTube. And of course, these people can be very disrespectful to Indian people in general, which I think is wrong. And that's not what it's about, really. It's about stopping this and trying to help people and try to stop these criminals from uh, getting away with what they're doing and reporting it to the proper authorities. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to end this one. So my name is Ben Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Stay safe when you're surfing the internet. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.